Alright, so today we're going to talk about how to use MC cable, how to use it to extend the circuit, and also we're going to talk about how to cut it, how to add connectors to it without any special tools. This MC cable sometimes is known as MX or BX cable. So MC stands for metal clad cable. So the great thing about this cable is that you can run this cable exposed. You don't have to hide this cable inside walls like you do with traditional Romex cable. So that's a big advantage of having this uh, metal clad is it can be run exposed. And this cable from Southwire as you can see here already has the ends on it. And these ends they basically snap to an outlet box. You can see these barbs that are here on the end of the cable here on the connector itself and once they snap into these holes that you see here on the outlet box they're not able to come out so it's really quick and easy you basically snap it in there and it's done and we're going to extend the circuit using this mc cable and what we're going to use here is this outlet box that you see here we have our actual outlet that's going to go inside the box and then we have the cover and it's a metal cover and basically we're going to put all this together along with the MC cable to extend the circuit and the way we're going to do this it's going to be exposed we're going to tap it into that junction box that you see there and I have done this already uh, on a previous circuit and this is basically going to be powering a tankless water heater so I have mounted my outlet box and that's really easy to do a couple of screws and you're all set to go so here's the um, tankless water heater that I have. You can see I'm using an extension cable. So I do want to get rid of this extension cable and plug this directly into the outlet itself instead of using that extension cable. Here you can see the outlet that I previously installed to accomplish the same thing on the previous water heater that I had there. So basically what I did here is I used the junction box that you see here to tap into the power and use the MC cable in order to extend that circuit and have the water heater plug in directly into the outlet. So this is the metal outlet box that I'm going to be using. I already have it mounted on the wall and I'm just using the screwdriver to just tap out those uh, little knockouts and you can see it just falls in easy. But the important thing is the MC connector has to be the same size as the holes on your outlet box. In this case it's half inch and all you do is push that connector into the hole. Here you go and if you heard it snap in and the barbs keep it from coming loose. And now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and run this cable uh, to the junction box. And again, it's gonna be exposed. I'll probably have a few metal clamps and wire ties to hold it in place. So this MC cable was a little bit longer. It was 15 feet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this. And how we're gonna cut this is right here in between these little grooves here. That's the weakest part of the cable. And basically what I'm gonna use is just regular tin snips and get right in between those grooves, which is the weakest part and just force my way and cut it. So because I'm cutting this with no special tools, you really have to use a little muscle, but it's not that hard. Once you start cutting it, that metal clad just breaks apart. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this with just the regular wire cutters to get that copper inside and cut it. You can see we have successfully cut the cable and we have the MC connector end here. And we're gonna reuse this MC connector, but in order to do that, we have to remove it from the actual cladding itself and you can see there's three barbs that prevent you from slipping it off. With a flathead screwdriver I'm going to go ahead and push up against that barb and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen it and then you can see it slips off and I do that to all three of these barbs. I just put the flathead screwdriver up against the barbs and I go ahead and push it in in order to loosen it. Once you separated the MC connector end you want to go ahead and make sure those barbs have tension so you're going to go ahead and put your flathead screwdriver underneath the barbs and just go ahead and pry it so that they have tension on them when you put them back on the metal clad cable they will grab. So that's basically what I'm doing here on all three barbs. You can see uh, they're sticking out a little bit more. Now once that's done, the easy part is just to unroll it here, unroll this metal clad and it comes out easy. Go ahead and unroll it to the length that you want and then we're going to use the tin snips again to cut this part of the cable that you're untwisting. So it's very simple to do. Once you get it up to length, you're going to go ahead and use the tin snips to cut it. Now, when you do cut this, you want to make sure that you don't cut the actual copper cable underneath. So I also filed down the uh, metal clad itself. That way there's no little edge that could go ahead and nick the copper underneath. So it's very important that you have a nice cut that you file it down. And now what I'm going to do is use the wire cutters to go ahead and cut the electrical wires and then strip them. Just a quick note on this as I'm stripping these wires. Obviously, if you measure and you get the uh, MC cable to length, you don't have to do any of this, but this is one of those 
those situations that if you haven't measured correctly or you need to cut the MC cable for some reason, the steps that I just took previous to this is what you need to do in order to reuse those connectors. Now what you do with the MC connector is just push it into the metal clad cable and the barbs on the MC connector will grab and it'll prevent the connector from slipping off. So now that we have our electrical wires cut and stripped, we're going to go ahead and basically tie it into this junction box. You can see I have my MC cable exposed and it's basically held in place with some wire ties and some clamps and it's going from that junction box to the outlet box where we're going to have our outlet and where the water heater is going to be plugged into. Of course you want to make sure you use the right cable for this, a 12 2 for a 20 amp and a 14 2 for a 15 amp. And before you do any work, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you turn your breaker off. As you can see here, I have a live circuit so before I start connecting both ends, turn off your breaker, make sure it's off. On the outlet end, I already have it plugged in, I already have it wired, so the white goes to the lightest screw and then the black wire goes to the copper screw and then the ground to the ground screw. Very simple to do and this is already all set and this is where we're going to be plugging in our water heater. So now that I know that the breaker is off, on the other end I'm going to go ahead and cut the electrical wire that we're going to tie our circuit into. We're going to strip this cable. Um, here on the junction box and we're going to connect these wires and it's basically going to be black to black, white to white and ground to ground and what we're going to do is we're going to strip those and we're going to put a wire nut together and then we're going to go ahead and put the cover. Now when you do this, when you extend the circuit, you have to make sure that the junction box is visible. Here you see that it's all tied up together. I'm going to go ahead and close this but the junction box has to be visible by code. Obviously if you don't have a junction box, you can go right to the panel but you're going to have to find out a way to extend that circuit so let's go ahead and plug it in and test this so I'm gonna turn it on here and you can see it's working and that's basically it how to extend the circuit with MC cable how to cut MC cable without special tools how to reuse that connector I hope this has been informative I hope you got some info out of this and if you like the video leave a comment put a like and subscribe for more videos thank you